Hey guys, let's see if this does any better for us. The first one, nobody could see me, I don't think, and I couldn't see any of you. So let me know when you pop on so I'll know that this one is working the way it's supposed to. I'll probably just hold on a second to see if we've got anybody. I'm not sure what is going on. It says that we are live. Well, fooey fooey. Oh, I see somebody popped on. Say hello when you pop on so I'll know that it's fixed now. And you guys probably completely missed me making the little flamingo for the mason jar. So somebody let me know if anybody was seeing any of the first video. Of course, I'm probably not gonna see comments. That's just the way it's gonna be. So this is the flamingo. Hey Sherry, were you able to see the first part of the video before I ended it? Hey Ashley, I'm not sure what people saw and what they didn't see because I couldn't see anything. Hey, hey, I see people. <laughs> so I don't wanna to have to do the whole spiel again if you guys saw the first part, so let me know. No, didn't see anything. Okay, so we're gonna start completely over. Hey everybody. <laughs> My first live apparently was a bust. So I was, hey Teresa, I'm sorry I missed you today. So this is the sign that's getting posted. Um, so we're just gonna start completely over Ashley cause I was live for like eight minutes painting away and nobody was there. So this is one of our projects for the 23rd. This is the patriotic door hanger. Absolutely love this. I will be posting this one later on this evening. It is a doozy, it's like 19 inches diameter it's huge see it's huge <laughs> so i will be posting that one this evening and make sure you register for that one because our other patriotic set is almost sold out for that class um also we have this weekend sorry now i'm backwards because i've already done this this weekend we also have this adorable queen bee set super super cute dawn this is this is you all over this is adorable It'll be adorable done in the king's gold that you did your other pieces in i love it Love it, and it's hot in here, so excuse me, guys. All right, so what I did when y'all weren't watching <laughs> was I painted this little flamingo to go on the interchangeable mason jar. So we have sets for your interchangeable mason jar if you've already done this one. You got the shamrocks and the eggs, and so now we have flamingos that you can choose from, which are stinking adorable. We have flags. Hold on, I gotta rearrange again. <laughs> we have flags that you can do. We have stars and we have lemons. So if you haven't ordered a mason jar yet, you can order that set and you can choose two three-piece sets from any of these. If you've already gotten a mason jar, you can order these in sets of six pieces. So two sets of three for $16. So you'll just choose flags and lemons or flamingos and stars, however you'd like that. But if you haven't ordered a mason jar set yet, you'll need to order the set and choose the pieces that you want. So that being said, let's get to painting something else since y'all miss me painting the flamingo. Hey guys. Hey everybody. I know Lynn, when you messaged me, I was like, wait a minute, I'm live right now. What are you talking about? I'm live. I'm live. So at least I can see your comments tonight. That's an improvement over Wednesday night. So tonight we have some fun projects. So the flamingo was one. Unfortunately, I already painted it and don't have another one here to paint for you. But we have two amazing projects. And Lynn, you're probably already painting. So <laughs> wait till you see these. So the first one we're going to paint tonight is a hydrangea bucket. So this is the most adorable pail with a whole bloom of hydrangea in it. This is so stinking cute. I cannot wait, cannot wait to paint this one. And the other one is a Happy Campers door hanger and I'm excited about that one too. So I'm gonna tilt you guys down. Also wanna let you know that the make and take for tomorrow is a bee and beehive banner and it's $18 and I will post a picture of that later on this evening. It's super, super cute. I can't wait for you guys to see that one. You keep hitting refresh. Oh, you kept hitting refresh. Yeah, and I kept thinking, why am I painting by myself? And now, and now I'm not, so that's exciting. So I'm gonna tilt you guys down and we're gonna start painting for real this time so you can see it. We're gonna start with the pail. We're gonna paint that first. 
get you guys tilted down good. I think I can tilt it down a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna start with the pail, and I'm gonna paint my pail gray. I did already paint my handle brown and wiped it off to make it look like stain, so it looked like a wooden handle on the pail. And now I'm gonna paint it gray, and then I'm gonna do a little detailing to it to give it some dimension. And then we'll paint our hydrangeas, and they are absolutely gorgeous. You'll have to let me know. I'm painting blue hydrangeas because blue hydrangeas are my absolute favorite, but I'd love to know what your favorite color hydrangea is, or snowball bush, if you call it that. I absolutely love them, and every chance I get, I buy another one to plant in my yard because I love them. Roses and hydrangeas. <laughs> The next people who buy our house will be like, she was a nut with the hydrangeas and the roses. All right. This little pail is so stinking adorable. I just love this. I love it all by itself, but when you put those hydrangeas on it, oh my heavens. Oh, pink and purple. You know, when I, um, when I first learned about hydrangeas, I also learned about putting a rusty nail or a rusty penny in the dirt next to the root and it would change the color. And I didn't believe it, but it so totally works. It's very, very cool. It, it lightens or darkens the ones that you have when you put that rusty nail in there. Very, very cool. This is the sweetest little bucket. I'm so excited to paint with you guys. I was getting to start to think I wasn't gonna have any friends tonight. And I have all, all my guys on tonight. I've got Lee, I got Marvin, I got everybody tonight. Y'all didn't know we had guys hang out with us, did you? All right, so I'm doing the handle, so I'm gonna be really careful and just go straight down the center because I don't want it to go on the sides. I really want it to stay right on top. I'm gonna try to get that little piece there. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with some darker and some white and make a little bit of shading on my bucket because y'all know I cannot resist that. Can't resist it. So I'm gonna go around here with some dark and then just kind of blend it in a little. So that's super, super easy to do. And then I'm gonna wipe off my brush a little and get some white. And then I'm just gonna go just like this around. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna blend it in some. I'm not gonna leave it so stark. Paint has dried a little bit because of the camera lights. So we'll get a little bit more gray. I'll just go over it a little bit. You just want the bucket to look highlighted around the corners and the edges. And you sometimes have to wait for this to dry to see how good you did and how much you need to go back in. So we'll leave it like that for now. I do want a little bit more dark there. Define that bucket a little bit. You're only gonna see the edges because we're gonna put those hydrangeas on there, but that gives you a little bit of an idea of where it's going. So when that dries, we'll see what we need to do as far as more shading there. So we'll paint our hydrangeas while we wait for that. So we're gonna set this to the side and get these beautiful hydrangeas. Beautiful, beautiful. I love them. So we're gonna paint this top section first, get all my little bits off. Y'all know all my little charred marks on my projects. Hey, Sandra. Oh, purple, Dawn. Ooh, yes. Y'all know I, um, I got a thing for purple. I love purple. So, Blue Bonnet is the color that I'm going to use tonight. It's a really pretty color that I think lends itself to hydrangeas. And this one is layered, so we're gonna be doing a lot of little pieces that are gonna get stacked on top to give it that look of a real hydrangea. Put 
or snowball bush, however you, whatever you call it. They even put that on the tag now. I guess so many people have called them snowball bush for so long. Once we get this whole thing covered in blue, we're gonna take some white and go in and highlight to give them a little bit more dimension before we start painting our other pieces. And then we have a beautiful leaf to paint to go with. This is just so exciting. Oh, I couldn't be more happy. I got to paint all day long today, which is awesome. Got to do a very special, special order for someone, which we'll post tomorrow. We can't post it today because the, the recipient has not received it. But super excited to be a part of that project. I can't even tell you. Oh, it's for one of my favorite people. Very, very happy with that. So I have literally gotten to do what I love all day. And I hope that over the weekend you all get to do what you love. And if that's painting, I hope you're going to come do it with me this weekend. All right. So now I'm going to take this white and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to put some little dots of white around and then I'm going to go back and swirl them in. I just want to lighten up some of my flowers. So I'm just going to swish it around. I don't want it to look completely white. I just want it to kind of lighten the color of some of my little petals. Because if you've ever looked at a hydrangea, they're not a solid color. It's kind of a, a variegated color almost. So we're just going to do that around some of the edges just to give it some dimension, some interest. And now we're going to paint all of these little guys. Super, super fun. It's a lot of them, but it won't take us but a minute. Just a minute. Since these projects are so incredibly different, I cannot wait until we are done tonight and I can find out which project was your favorite. Sometimes our projects are similar and I have a hard time figuring it out, but these are so different that I think there's gonna be very clear division between which project is the best one for the night. These are so stinking adorable. Oh my goodness. I just love flowers. If I could paint flowers every day, I'd be happy too. But I love everything, so I guess flowers, flowers and everything else. But flowers are fun. And oh my goodness, if you have not seen the felt flowers that our vendor Dawn makes, oh my heavens. You've gotta come in and check them out. Pictures do not do them justice. She is the most talented felt flower maker I think I have ever seen. They are just stunning works of art. I had to buy a special vase just to buy some of her flowers because I wanted them so bad. problem with having amazing vendors in your shop is that you shop from them too much. Too much. So we've gotten a lot of questions today about the mask mandate being lifted. I will tell you that for now, much to my chagrin, I plan to keep it. Um, you will be required to wear a mask in the shop just would like to wait a little while longer and see how things go. There's really no way to know who's vaccinated and who's not, and it's none of my business if you are, so I don't want to have to ask, so we're just going to stick with it for a bit longer. But we did get some cool new pretty masks in that I'm going to post later, so if that makes it any better. <laughs> and they're only six bucks, which is awesome. All right. So, 
those are painted. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing. We are gonna take some white. We're just gonna blend it a little bit. Give some of these flowers some more white on them and some of them not, because these are gonna be the ones that stack on top. So I'm not gonna do all of them, just some of them. Ooh, that one got a lot, didn't it? That's all right. Make them pretty. Okay, maybe a couple more. And then we're gonna paint our leaf and then this one will be ready to put together. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's paint our leaf. Got some shamrock green here. Definitely gonna take two coats. Was very exciting this week after our um, ding dong door hanger expedition to ride by every morning and see that beautiful door hanger on the door at Iverson Dental. It looks so stinking adorable. So if you live in York County, I hope you've been by and had a chance to see it. It's super beautiful and looks really great on their front door. We love it. It was pretty cool too because we had no idea it was their fourth anniversary which was just kismet for us to have dropped it off that day. So that's very cool. I love it when things like that come together and we didn't even know. All right, so that's done. Let me see if I can put a touch maybe of a darker color in here to maybe highlight these. I don't know how I like that. I think we'll go back over that with some green. Not sure I'm feeling that really. Maybe if it's just a little less drastic. There we go. That's a pretty leaf. I like it. All right, so it's time to put this puppy together. So we got ourselves a bucket and we got a lot of flowers. So let's start putting it together. I'm gonna lay the bucket out here. I'm gonna start with my leaf, which I want to go up like that. This I know, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that with my hot glue. You can still use your tacky glue. I still use my tacky glue. I'm just doing this to make it quicker for us. Now, because this is raised and the flower is raised, I am gonna put another flower here to even things out so that it lays flat against there. So once I figure out how I want my flowers, I think I want them like that. Then we're gonna glue that little guy down. That way everything is level when we start on this. And then I'm just gonna play with this till I see how I like it. And that's a personal, personal preference, whatever you like. I think maybe that. Again, I normally use my tacky glue, and I'm not gonna stop using my tacky glue, but this just helps expedite things when we're doing a live. All right, there we go. Now we're just gonna start stacking. So just start figuring out how you want them to lay. It's like a little puzzle. You just have to figure out what you like. trying to accomplish is to get pieces um, on top of each other like that so that they are um, three-layered. So I kind of want 
maybe one out like that and maybe one like that I think I like the way that looks oh my gosh that's stunning stunning it's always funny to me I'm looking at it right now and it doesn't look nearly as good as it does on the camera it looks amazing okay so we got to take some off and we got to glue that's the scary part I don't want to take them back off because they look so good to get glued okay now we need that one there oh my heavens this is gorgeous that was hot, that's why I don't like to use a hot glue gun. Okay, there she is, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is the most adorable bucket ever, ever. Do you hear me? Look at that, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And that's all there is to it. You can go around and do some detailing around here if you want some more detailing. Whatever makes you happy, you can detail around your flowers a little bit. I'll probably do a little bit more white on a couple of these. But I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so this is one of your choices. This is a contender here. Now we are moving on. We are moving on to our happy camper. It looks like I don't have anybody on again. I don't know what's going on. Let me see if I can see them differently on my computer nope all right well I'm just gonna keep on painting and hopefully you guys are here all right so this is our happy camper too stinking cute of course it's layered like our others and I'm gonna take it all apart so that I can get started on it but I have stained our background with some brown paint and now I'm going to paint this little section here with the trees on it. And then I'm going to do all the other sections and then we're going to put it all together. It's going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to use this same shamrock green. This is such a great color. And we're going to paint this whole section. And this will take two coats, so I'm just going to hurry through this first one and get the second one on. So who loves to camp and how do you love to camp? Are you a tent camper? Are you a glamper? Are you a cabin person? You just go to a campground and stay in a cabin. I've never done that, but it looks like a lot of fun. Or a yurt. I keep seeing those everywhere. I think I want to try that. We like to tent camp, but I would love to have a camper. Feel like as much as we spend on tent camping we could have a camper <laughs> because you know I gotta have a fan and I gotta have lights and I gotta have all the things we could just get a camper
a hotel camper. I, I like your style, Holly. I like your style. Because let me tell you about the last time we went camping. Holy cow. It was 150 degrees if it wasn't anything. I'm telling you, it was terrible. So it was 2 o'clock in the morning when it was finally cool enough to fall asleep. And then the people at the campsite next to us checked in and decided that it must be the middle of the day for them. So they started hollering and screaming, letting their children run around the campsite. And I was so cranky and hot, I, could, I just couldn't. Everybody was yelling at them to shut up. The park ranger kept coming. I was like, oh my heavens, give me a Hilton. Just give me a Hilton. It was awful. And we had sleeping bags. We didn't have a cot or an air mattress or anything. My poor body did not like me the next day. sure we get this good and covered so it's a really pretty green. I want it to pop against that brown stain. And we're using fire coral on the centerpiece. I think it's going to look really good together. I'm really excited about this one. It's so stinking cute. I don't know. I'm still leaning towards the hydrangea pale, to tell you the truth. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see this one finished. I'm going to reserve judgment till I see it finished. But I love me some hydrangeas. And now that I have that thought in my mind about the camping, I don't know whether this one could win even if it wanted to. <laughs> it's giving me flashbacks. <laughs> All right, there we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, so we're gonna do our center section um, in that fire coral, and then we'll start on our camper. Section right here. Now I got you guys tilted down so far I can't see your uh, see your comments. That's all right, Donna. We had some technical difficulties. I went live one time and nobody was here, and then uh, yeah, we're. I don't know what's going on with Facebook this evening. I am feeling better. I do not know. I think I had some kind of tummy bug. I don't know, but it was not happy. Ugh. Not happy at all, but I am feeling much, much better. Thank you so much for asking. You know when I don't feel like crafting, I feel bad. Good grief. I think this is gonna look so pretty against that. That's so happy. Mm. Happy, and that's what it says, happy campers. I could have used a bigger brush, huh? Oh well, we're almost there now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy y'all are here because that was very, very, <laughs> was very, very sad being all by myself on a live. Oh my goodness, that hadn't happened to me ever. Like my first live, I had only a few people, but I did have people. Goodness gracious, and that was that was a while ago now. Can you believe it? It's been over a year. We have been going live every week. I don't know where that little bit of gray keeps coming from, but I think I got it covered that time. All right, boom, that's done. All right, we are moving along with these parts. Moving along. Hey, Shannon. Uh, this, this fire coral color is a folk art paint, and I absolutely love it. It's the best fire coral I've ever used and sometimes hard to come by, and I don't understand why, but I grab it every time I see it. 
I think I'm going to have to order a case of it from Folk Art. And, of course, Folk Art is a plaid product, so. All right, let's see. Let's get this painted gray. I get a lot of questions about my favorite paint brand. Um, for ease, a lot of times I used Craft Smart. Um, I use Apple Barrel a lot. If I, if I could pick my favorite, favorite brand of paint and use it all the time, it would be Deco Art. I love Deco Art products. Um, and no, I don't get paid to say that. I, I just absolutely love them. Um, they're, they're expensive, more expensive than the other brands, but I do really enjoy them and I do use them quite a bit. Um, but I don't always, because I can't always get the colors that I want for certain projects. Um, and we go through a lot of paint, so. All right, I'm gonna do Happy in the Gray as well. And because they're a little chunkier, I didn't get my tape out. I'm probably gonna wish I had, because I'm gonna have some more gray paint under my fingernails. My poor nail tech probably wonders what in the world I do all day. I just stick my hands in vats of paint. You know when she's talking to those other ladies, she's saying, look at these filthy fingers. I just know she is. This paint's a little watery. Um, so I may have to go back over and do another coat on this. Although it gives it a nice distressed look. All right. So happy is happy. And I think we need to do this little strip that goes on the top. We're gonna do that one in green as well. Let's get our green back out and do this little strip really quick. I love all the attention to detail on these pieces. Everything just turns out so beautiful. And I, I know I tell you all this all the time, but it's so true. All this cutout work just makes your project look so professional when you're done. It just takes all the work out of it. You just paint all your little pieces, glue them together, and you have a masterpiece. And I absolutely love it. Y'all send me pictures all the time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It makes my day. I love seeing pictures of your projects when you're finished, especially those of you who pick up kits and don't craft in the studio. It's always so nice to see the finished result of what you took home. So thank you guys for that. Y'all are always so great about doing that. All right. Let's see, try to check some of the comments while I'm waiting on that to, um... I'm so glad you loved it, Sherry. I thought you weren't getting it till tomorrow. I thought you said you're getting it tomorrow. I'm glad you got it today. That um, floral welcome is to die for. I cannot wait until you get that one done. It, it's stunning. That's one of the ones that I'm really talking about. When you put all these pieces together, you're like, holy cow, that's the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. All right, now I'm gonna paint campers white. If I can get all my stuff out of the way here. Got myself, I'm, I'm painted myself into a corner, didn't I? <laughs> What's new? Always doing that. I'm gonna do with my white. Okay. Yeah, I got to see lots of people today. That was fun. All right, we're gonna paint campers. Then we're gonna paint the actual camper. And then it'll be time to put this puppy all together. And see how cute. And then you're gonna to have to tell me which one is your favorite. And don't forget, I'm gonna post those other projects later tonight. Um, I got a little waylaid today and didn't get to finish everything that I wanted to and didn't get to post everything I wanted to, but I am going to play this evening. And then I have a hot date with a laser machine. <laughs>
I know my neighbors wonder what I do. I'm always in the garage and the fan sounds like it's a, I don't know what. It's not loud outside, but you can definitely tell something's running. So they probably wonder what I do all the time out there. Keep them guessing. Hey, also, if you haven't nominated a business for a door hanger, please do. I want as many people to get door hangers as humanly possible. And the business doesn't have to be in Yorktown. We were trying to um, to bless some, some businesses in Yorktown because um, we all love to stick together. But we are not um, we are not discriminating based on city. We will ding dong door hanger your favorite business anytime. And I'm excited about who we're going to do next. I can't wait. So by the end of the month, you need to get your entry in because um, by the first of the month, I have to pick somebody so that I can get their door hanger done. So don't forget. All right, so here we are. Let's get our camper painted. Let me get this little guy painted too. I need to get my little hitch painted here. There we go. All these little parts. All the little parts. So this piece and this piece are white. So we'll get them painted. This is going to be adorable. That felt like the most time consuming part of the whole thing was getting around that little edge. This one comes together quickly, even though it's got all these parts. All right, let's see what else. Um, this little centerpiece of the tire, it gets painted white. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, now the door, the door, the door, the door is gray okay i put all my brushes in the water like a good girl and i still needed them <laughs> okay so this door is light gray Piece of the camper is our fire coral. Okay, and then we got this little piece that goes in the door. Oh, this little piece goes to it too. That's fire coral as well. to remember how this little guy goes back together by memory and my memory stinks so bear with me got this little heart that needs to be we'll just do it fire coral because we got fire coral here oh he's tiny he could have used some tape all right now the window and this little window get a really light blue super super light blue i'm not I'm sure that that's even light enough, but we're going to try it. I don't want them to be too bright. 
The idea is to make it look like glass, and light blue does that really well. Okay, I think we're about ready to put it together. This is so exciting. I always feel like a little kid at Christmas when it's time to put these projects together. Of course, now I got all these pieces in the way. I gotta move them all out of the way and put the main piece back down. So let's move all this over. All right, let's put this here, clean up my mess a little, and make some room so we can start building our camper. All right, so we got our base. And we know we need to put the trees down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of hot glue. Again, I prefer tacky glue, but for the ease of putting it together quickly and getting the pictures up quickly so it doesn't have to dry, I'm gonna use hot glue. Oh, that looks so pretty against that stain, doesn't it? I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, same thing, this piece line of glue, put it down, line it up. Remember, if you're going to use hot glue, you're only getting one shot at it, so be careful. <laughs> That's why I don't like hot glue. All right, same thing with this little piece. This is a little piece that goes here, and the little camper wheel is going um, to go in it. As we're building, it'll all start making sense. We'll lay that piece flat there. All right. And now we can put this green piece on. And I'm only gonna put a couple dots of glue on this because I don't wanna burn myself. Again, why I love tacky glue. And this hot glue gun is no joke. All right, so I'm gonna lay that on. It fits nice and snug there. Okay, now, camper time. Well, we can put our camper. Happy campers. Cute, cute, cute this one is. And I love these colors. That fire coral just does something with that green. I like that a lot. All right, campers. Down you go. Down you go, campers. Okay, now, the wheel. Start building our camper. I think, yeah. And then this piece. I'm just putting one dab of glue just to. All right, and then this piece goes next, just like that. Let's get it over a little more so you can see. Other thing I don't like about hot glue is the little strings everywhere. But, all right, the door, we're gonna put the door in. It's just like building a puzzle. You just start putting all the pieces in. And we know that the little blue circle goes in the door. So we'll put that in. And we know that little heart goes in there and I'm, I am not for the life of me trying to put hot glue on that itty bitty thing. Not happening. All right, so then we know these pieces go like this. So we'll go ahead and glue that down. How stinking cute is this? Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Just adorable. Okay, now we can put the big piece on top. And it's looking like a camper. We can put our little window in. Look at that. And we got this little hitch that needs to go on there. That can go right there. And then we need to put happy on. How stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Let 
That is adorable. Look at that. I'm gonna tacky glue those letters. All right, what do you think? Super, super cute. That is adorable. I absolutely love that. So, that's our projects for tonight. That was a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. Now I can look at some of the, some of the comments. Some of the comments. Hey, Mary. Hey, Kimberly. Oh, I know you were excited when you got that box, Lynn. <laughs> I was excited for you to get that box. All right, so you're going to have to tell me, guys. Are we team hydrangea or are we team happy campers? Both are super adorable. Oh my gosh, I don't know now. Now that I see the campers all together, I'm, I'm digging the campers too. So make sure you let me know in the comments which one you like best and make sure you watch out for a little bit later. I'm gonna post the, um, the Bumblebee banner and I'm gonna go ahead and register that class, the Home of the Brave class, so that you guys can get your tickets to that. Make it a whole day with us on the 23rd and get all of your patriotic projects done at one time. And I'm so glad that you guys hung out with me tonight. You always make my Friday night so perfect. And I'm glad I got to craft with you all and I will see you guys soon. Good night.